In the next couple of seconds, I'm going to show you just how you can find GTK themes for a bunch of different themes like I have in this list over here. So as you can see, I have like a list of nine themes over here. It's probably not nine, it's something like eight or seven. I actually hide, uh, hide a couple of the themes because there were too many. But yes, I'm going to show you exactly how you can find themes like these, GTK themes that you can use for your own system. So here we have the website. So it's called Pling.com, right? Pling is where we used to find GTK 3 slash 4 themes back in the day. So this was around 2021 when we were using GNOME and we still had the version of GNOME before GNOME 40 came along and basically ruined theming. But that's a story for another day, right? GNOME used to be much more customizable and you used to be able to change a lot of different parts about it. It was still when GTK 3 was around, so you didn't have any of the stringent non-theming ability that you get with GTK 4 in there at the time so which basically meant that you could theme a lot of stuff but anyway here we are now as you can see over here kanagawa capuchin everforest Gravebox, night fox all of these are the gtk themes which i'm using to facilitate you know the working of these themes that i've created on my own here oh and by the way if you want to know how to make you know custom theme switches like this where basically you select the gtk theme and then the wallpaper along with all the other fun stuff like the colors over here and whatnot and if you want to learn how to make that and do it for yourself then go ahead and click the first link in the description i show you exactly how to do this step by step i walk your hand i hold your hand and then i walk you through it completely so you don't have to do anything yourself you don't have to break your setup you don't have to do any of that so go ahead just click the first link in the description and check it out okay now as you can see these are the gtk3 themes that i was using when it came to, you know, this custom theme switcher over here, you can just click on this and then you can go ahead and, you know, basically take a look at the theme, see whether it's for you or not. And most importantly, I haven't mentioned who actually this is from. So if we scroll up, the name is F Corpsevart. Now, this guy actually has a GitHub repo. So it's on github.com forward slash Fausto Corpse. Vart. So if we just go to his GitHub repo, we can also see that there's a bunch of the same themes that you see over here. Yeah, let's scroll down. Yeah, so all of these themes, they are in his GitHub repo right here as well. So you can get it from whichever place that you want. If you want to download it from Pling, you can just look up, um, what do you call it, Kanagawa GTK theme. And then first probably, or most probably, you're going to actually see this link over here, the GitHub link which will probably take you to a GitHub page, something like this. And then you should find the Pling link over here. So you can just middle click this in order to open it into a new tab, click on files, and then you pick whichever theme that you want. You, you download it and then you extract the zip file and then you put it in your dot themes folder. Okay. The reason why we are actually going to put the theme into the dot themes folder is because you don't want to mess around with permissions. See, okay. So here's another anecdote from back in the day, right? So when you used to, create themes and basically add in a bunch of g uh, g god man add in a bunch of gtk themes that you used to be able to use what you used to do is basically extract the zip file whichever zip file that you got okay uh, let's say it was cappuccin right you got the zip file and then you would type it in unzip and then the zip name and then it would extract the zip file contents right and then it would place that into a folder that folder you would actually use something like sudo mv theme like theme name and then you'd move it to user share themes but later on it was actually you know uh, at least i found this out for myself it's not quite a good idea in order to you know move the theme to user share themes yourself because that's a directory that's managed by your package manager so if you install a different theme like let's say materia gtk theme so i'm on arch linux so if i install it with materia gtk theme it's actually going to place the theme files inside user share themes and anything that's, you know, managed by the package manager or the system itself, you do not want to be messing around in. I'm on Arch Linux, so Pac-Man would be doing the managing of the, you know, what do you call it, folder for me. So I don't want to go around messing in there myself, which is why I have created a dot themes folder that you can see over here where I have placed all of my different themes. So if I switch to another theme, something like Noir, something that you probably have never seen before, because yes, this is my own creation. i okay, just show you how niche looks like pretty nice right it's kind of a pastel look so yeah as you can see here it's currently using the graphite dark compact gtk theme so if i show you nwg look this is what that looks like and if we just switch back it should change 
So if we close reopen, as you can see, it changes. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, basically, what you want to do is basically extract the zip and then put the extracted folder into dot themes and not user share themes. Okay. Now that is just one place, but don't you worry. I have two more places where you can find lots and lots of GTK themes. And not just that, but what do you call it? KDE themes too. So KDE has a theming system called Quantum. Quantum uh, and Qt theming. Basically, there are a bunch of different ways to theme Qt applications. Right here, I have Quantum installed. So if I click on change or delete theme, as you can see, this is a theme I'm currently using for all Qt applications. So if I open something like Caden Live, which is a Qt application, and if you're wondering what Qt is, it's basically a UI framework. So you kind of have different programming languages, right? You have Python and then you have Java, you have dozens of programming languages. Just like that, you have frameworks, which you can use to write apps in. So one is GTK, and then the other one is Qt. So as you can see, this is the Qt app that I have going on. It doesn't share the same colors as Tokyo Night because I'm still yet to implement the feature of theme switching into Qt applications. But as you can see, this is what that looks like. So this is a GTK app and then this is a Qt app. Okay, that's that. You can also find a bunch of Qt apps, I mean Qt themes over here. So if we look for Plasma themes, because Qt is the predominant framework that's used in KDE Plasma. We probably were not going to find it here, so we can just look for it here. Right, so before I show you that, just take a look at all of these GTK 3.4 themes. You've probably seen these ones already, like Colloid, this one's pretty popular, along with Orcus. This used to be a legendary theme back in the day. I click on this, take a look at the image. You'll probably have seen this before, so you can recognize it. And yeah, here we have a bunch of themes like this is, let's see how many this is actually. So it's six times three, four, five. So that's 35 minus three is going to be like 32 themes. So you have 32 GTK themes right here. And then plus another nine in the repo that I already showed you. And then we have more over here. So that's 32 plus six times three, 18 minus four. That's, oh, come on, math. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of GTK themes over here. So you can go ahead and pick whichever one you want. This, by the way, this, this URL, you can just go ahead and paste that in. Should be pretty quick. The author of this page is Vince Lewis, so you can just do that. Just type, type into your URL bar, gnome-look.org, Vince Lewis. And you should find these amazing themes over here. Not just that, but then you also have Plasma themes. So Plasma themes are basically the Qt themes that you can use in order to theme your Qt applications. Pretty sure he also has Quantum themes. So if we just search for Quantum, they're probably not over here, but they're most likely to be in his GitHub repo. So you can just click on GitHub somewhere here, and then you can go and check the Quantum themes out. And then lastly, as I showed you, we have Elever Lara, this guy. Okay, so we have Elever Lara, who has also made a bunch of GTK themes that we can access. Like Sweet, this one used to be really popular back in Gnome pre-40 days, along with Otis, and that's pretty much it. Yep. So that is over 60, pretty, pretty sure it's like over 50, at least, GTK themes that you can download and use today and have fun with. If you want to know how to make a setup like this one, like the one that I just showed you, including the GTK themes and then the switching of the themes, along with the scripting part and everything, you want to learn how to make this yourself, go ahead, click the first link in the description. I show you exactly how to do this step by step so you don't have to watch another YouTube video and break your stuff ever again. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay racing.